Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video, I would like to once again take a look at the three stages of knowledge relative to physical energy and mental energy. And this is really important because it's really easy to get tricked and fooled on many subjects, especially the most important subject of all, the fall of mankind. Yes, I've been talking a lot about the three stages of knowledge lately, the last five videos specifically. Videos before that, I'm talking about there is a first thing we have to correct. There is a fall of mankind. I've been trying to explain in my last few videos that if you don't understand the three stages of knowledge, you won't understand that we got to focus on the second stage. You'll get tricked in going into the first stage or the third stage. You can get tricked in looking look into the third stage by looking at the to-get list instead of the to-do list, or we get tricked by looking at the symptoms, the effects. That's what's happening to us. Or we get tricked by looking into the first stage and look at things that come before the cause. Now, I've tried to point out how important this is, uh, that it's all about semantics, because in my video that I, I did recently about the spiritual laws of cause and effect, someone tried to do a, uh, and they did a really good job of trying to explain there are many levels to cause. That's what it looks like. And now we're getting down into semantics. Because when you look at the third stage of knowledge where our problems are, that cannot exist without the second stage. Second stage cannot exist without the first stage. Oh, John, you didn't go to the first cause, you didn't go to the first stage. I got to find out what we need to correct. What are we doing is what we have to know. When we go to the first stage, what we need to do is find out the knowledge we're missing. That's the problem. We don't know that cooking is a sin or a mistake. We think it's an art. This is our problem. And when we go to the first stage, that's all we need to worry about now. Find the knowledge we need. As far as all the other factors, well, golly, remember I've identified 281 of the most important pieces out of the millions of pieces in my special teaching tool. Now, when we look at the second stage of knowledge, there are 62 pieces that come before the second stage. And people are going, John, you're not enlightened. It's piece number 30. John, you're not enlightened. It's piece 28. Hey. Those are two pieces in one puzzle that has 10 other pieces. There's 12 all together in that puzzle, and that's really a sub-puzzle. It belongs to another puzzle that has three main pieces. One has two, one has 12, that was that one, and another has seven. So I've looked at all the pieces, and I understand the importance of the first stage. I know that our journey starts off on the wrong path with false knowledge. And the way we repeat the fall now is not how it happened long ago when you have discussions with people about the fall of mankind. They talk about how it happened and what preceded the mistake. And the key here is there's two events. The fall of mankind happened in the past, but it's being repeated now, and we can't go back the way we came. So it doesn't matter why we did what we did. What matters is how does it start now. It starts through our traditions, through false knowledge. Twelve sources of false knowledge and there are a total of 55 problems of knowledge. So there are a lot of factors to consider, but if we want to get out of the hell we're in, we've got to understand the difference between mental energy and physical energy in the three stages of knowledge because they manifest things differently. Mental energy does not manifest the same thing as physical energy does, obviously. So we can uh, read a study. So we're doing something, we're reading. That's in the second stage. I'm thinking about it, I'm in the second stage. This is mental energy, though. Hey, I even came to a conclusion in the third stage. I manifested a conclusion. That's mental energy. It's the physical energy we want to look at because we're living systems. We're not, we're not rocks. We're not angels. Oh, John, you're so stupid. Lucifer didn't fall. He didn't eat cooked food. Eating's obviously not fall of mankind. It's in his heart and his mind. Well, hey, mental energy, physical energy, spiritual energy, physical energy. What is spiritual energy? Well, the way I look at things, everything's energy, right? You got a green pea, formless energy, zero point energy. It steps down a level, creates vibrating energy, formed energy, tachyon energy, all these subtle organizing energy units, chakras, meridian systems, Got different types of energy, potential energy, thermal energy, kinetic energy. What kind of energy is a spirit? Well, they don't eat. So 
The angels fell. Why did they fail? Jealousy? Their desire for power and excess? Are they physical entities? Can they do anything? They can't eat, so uh, hell, obviously they, can, they can't eat their way to hell. When you look at the fall of mankind, it has to do with our needs. We're living systems. That's why you have to understand what's in the cause, second stage, cause and effect, second, third stage. That's why you have to understand what are we doing in the second stage if we know what to correct. If you're not a living system, if you're a rock, you don't have any needs, you're not gonna get cancer. How about angels? Do they angels get cancer? Do they have any physical energy? Can they pick up something? No, they can't eat. Well, then why are you saying, well, you, you don't have any logic, you're not enlightened. <laughs> can't you see? It's, it's in their heart and their mind. Mental energy, physical energy, what are we doing physically in the second stage? That's what we gotta correct. That's what I've been harping on in these last few videos. All of my videos are harping on the same thing. We gotta realize that we're doing something wrong. And yeah, there are a lot of things that can make us do it wrong. We gotta focus on what it is to correct. That's the key. So, yeah, there are many levels of causes. First stage causes, or I should say the first stage has the potential for creating or causing the second stage. Potential, potential, potential. Knowledge is worthless unless we apply it. I could have all sorts of good intentions and never follow through with any of them, right? Are they a piece of the puzzle? Of course, they're up there in that first stage of knowledge. They're a, a factor, but what matters? What matters is what we're doing in the second stage. That's the cause, so yes, the first stage creates and it causes the second stage, but then the second stage creates and causes the third stage. And once again, can't have the third stage without the second. You can't have the second without the first. John, you're not enlightened. You don't know about the first stage. Hey, do you know there's four portals along there that precede the second stage? Do you know there are 62 pieces I've identified that precede the second stage? Oh, John, you don't know about piece 30. You're just not enlightened. You don't understand how everything affects everything. No, you don't understand. You're getting tricked and fooled every time you get taken off the second stage of knowledge when it comes to the fall of mankind, because you can represent the fall of mankind in the first stage, in the second stage, in the third stage, even in the portal that comes down, 109. I, I've looked at all of this. I know the only way to get back to paradise is to realize we can't go back the way we came. We can't go back up 109. We can't correct whatever it was that made us slide down there and, and start eating cooked food but we can stop eating cooked food, provided we can accept the fact that we got false knowledge in its place, that we start our life, our journey off in life on the wrong path with those traditions in the first stage, the same false beliefs that our parents were taught to them, they taught to us, and that's why we make the mistakes. It's that simple. What are the mistakes that we're making, my friends, that we have to correct? Oh, it's in your heart, it's in your mind. You're doomed. <laughs> Don't get tricked into looking at anything before the second stage. Don't get tricked into looking at anything after the second stage. Stay in the second stage. Identify the mistake we're making. When it comes to the fall of mankind, what is the mistake? It's not in your heart, in your mind. It's in your actions. It's in what you eat. Look at you. Your dietary mistakes are recorded in your flesh. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Or most of you. And most of y'all listening to this video right now are trim tabs. But we gotta wake the rest of those guys up and realize they can be a trim tab too. And what happens when you become a trim tab? <laughs> Tell them folks, they're in for a treat.